Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to install uh, Pywin CSS version 4 in Laravel project because by default is not the version 4 of Pywin CSS. So I'm going to open, let's open the terminal. we to open the warp terminal. And here let's create a Laravel project. So I'm going to say Laravel new example and hit enter. No starter kit. Yeah, is the Laravel level 0.6. And let's see what we have in this project. SQLite. Okay, just hit enter. Just to see the application, and then I'm going to show you. Yeah, first we need to see the in the example, and then yeah, we can run the npm install. But I'm going to open this with the cursor. Okay, and let's see. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go to in package.json file, and yeah, we have Titan CSS here. Also, we have post CSS, and that's it. And with, here we have also the Titan config file, we have the post CSS, we have vid. What I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the Tilewind config file, also the post CSS. And uh, let's come here and remove both of them. I'm going to hit enter. I have, yeah, I have here the level hurt. So if I open the browser and open the example.test, here we have the project. I'm going to open now the Pylon CSS website. Okay. And yeah, here we have an example. I'm going to go to get started. How to install that. And let me just copy this. I'm going to copy this. Or let me just zoom it a little bit for you. Yeah. And now we yeah, I'm going to copy the H1. And let's and let's open the cursor, close this, and inside the resources, views, welcome. Here, remove the styles. And also, I'm going to remove everything here and paste this H1. Let's save this. Okay, now let's open the terminal and run the npm install and then the npm run dev okay if i run the npm run dev just to open the browser and see here refresh we have this hello world if i zoom it a little bit yeah and let me just change the color so I'm going to say text uh, to be red let's say 500 and now come here and refresh yeah we don't see that so we don't have the Tylen CSS now let's install the Tylen CSS so let's come here scroll up and here we have using V also we have using post CSS Tylen CLI uh, Framework guides and play CDN. I'm going to choose this one because also the Laravel use vid. And let's copy this command. Open the terminal. I'm going to open a new terminal and leave that. And hit enter. So install Tylen CSS and Tylen CSS vid. Okay. Next, we need to import this Tylen CSS from Tylen CSS vid inside the vid.config.ts file so let me just open the vid.config we have js here not ts but is the same and then inside the plugins array we need to pass also the tiling css like this so we have plugins we have the laravel plugin after that let's say tiling css and save let's close this 
Next, inside the CSS now, we need to say just import the tailwind CSS, which I'm going to copy that. And let's open, uh, sorry, let's open the CSS app CSS instead of using this old school, let's use the import tailwind CSS. Save, close. Next, we need to run the npm run dev and pass the style and it's going to work. Let's see. Let's open here. Refresh. It's not working. Let's open the terminal and I'm going to stop this and run again the npm run dev just in case, just to show you. Here we have the hello world, but we don't see the text. Uh, let me just show you. We have other text at 500. And that's it because let me just go again and one more time to type in CSS. Got documentation. And yeah, we have follow the guide. But we need one more thing. So if I go to framework guides, what we need is just to add the source views. Okay, so add the import in the app.css that import Tailwind CSS. Additionally, tell Tailwind CSS to scan your resources views file. And let's do that. Let's copy this, open the cursor inside the app CSS now. I'm going to pass also this one source dash dash views. So it's going to look inside this views. And now if I save and let's open the browser again, as you can see now we have hello world like this. We can change that, uh, not red, but indigo. And let's save, come here, now we have indigo. Also I want to say, for example, slash a new one, slash uh, 30, yeah. If I change that to red, it's going to look more clean. Yeah, as you can see, if I remove now this and save, yeah. Okay, friends, that's it. How we can install the Tailwind CSS version 4 in our Laravel project. Now, don't forget, if you'd like such a videos, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.